hello everybody welcome back to my channel so for today i'm going to be talking about some mistakes that some young graduates make when they accept their first job offer so i'm just going to be giving you a few tips and this is based on my experience because i've gone through different roles as a young professional so i'm just going to be giving you a few short tips number one a big mistake that some people make is that they just rush into any role especially if you live in a country like Nigeria and you just feel as though, okay, you have to take what you can get to stay employed. So some people make the mistake of just rushing into any role. They don't actually consider what that role is that they are taking on. They don't actually take the time to understand whether the salary actually makes sense to their experience, education level and position for their status at that time. They don't take the time to even consider all these things. They just rush into any role like that. And sometimes when you have not really taken the time to consider a decision and compare different options, you just take anything and you could miss out on a better opportunity with a better pay and a better environment. So really take the time and don't just rush and accept whatever comes to you first. Actually consider the different options that you are during your application process when you're putting things out there and be able to understand your worth, your education level and your experience and whether that matches, matches up with the job role, with the salary and the environment you find yourself in. So just take a few minutes to actually consider the kind of role that you are getting into. Number two, a big mistake that some people make when they take in a job is that they don't really look at the job description. They don't take the time to see all that the job entails. Like some people are just so excited so they just accept everything and that is a big mistake that i have often made in the past sometimes when you assume that okay you can handle all of this and that but no really ask questions especially if you make it to the stage of the interview really ask questions about all the job description entails and what the expectations are because sometimes you get into something and you're realizing you're taking in things that you don't have experience to handle or the capabilities to handle and then this is the mistake that you're in because then you're not meeting up to the expectations of what matters. So you really need to understand all that the job description entails. Make sure you ask those questions and be honest with yourself and also be honest with the employer whether this is something that you can take on or whether it is going to be a learning experience. Whereas when you get in there, you have to develop yourself and learn about those particular roles and duties that you need to take on so really read the read the job description and understand all that it entails number three you don't consider the industry or environment you want to be in you know some people when they are looking for jobs they just tell you okay anything anything i want to take anything let me just get anywhere and those people who won't say they want to take anything and, and just get anywhere those people are probably still waiting to get a job do you know why because they're not focused they don't know what they want. If you're just telling somebody you take anything, you get anywhere, how can that person even help you in your job process to find a job you're looking for? You have to know exactly what you're looking for. You have to know the industry you want to be in. You didn't study in school to just enter any industry. Is it business that you're trying to get into in? Is it a startup environment? Is it a non-profit environment? Is it a media environment? Stop saying anything because you people who are saying anything are still looking for jobs because people don't know how to help you. You have to be focused and understand what industry am I trying to get in so that you're actually applying to things that match your skill set and experience and you're getting into the industry you want to be in. Stop saying anything because that is why you haven't gotten a job yet. You're not focused and you don't understand the industry you want to be in. So if you want other people to help you, especially in the job process, please be more specific about what it is you studied and exactly what industry you are trying to get in so you can actually have this targeted search when you are networking, when you are interacting with people, when you are putting your work out there in public, once you are focused about what particular industry you want to get in, it just makes it a little bit easier for you to match up with the right opportunities. So please have a better understanding of the industry that you want to be in. And number four, you don't consider the company's mission and goals. This is also in line with being focused and understanding the industry you want to be in. You have to understand the mission and goals, especially as you develop in your career, because you should know like five to 10 years down the line, what is it that you want to be doing in your career? What particular industry? Why do you want to choose this company? And even when you get to the interview stage, you'll notice that they ask you questions like, why do you want to work here? 
and you can't just say you want to work there because you want the money no you have to actually have a real and legitimate reason for why you are attracted to that particular company so take the time especially when you're applying to jobs to really understand the company's mission and values I know that as a young professional not everything is going to really align with the mission and values you have for yourself and sometimes you might have to take things as a stepping stone but still always consider your future and consider where you want to get into so that you know that whether you are getting in the right industry because i know when i started you know i'm so young but i know when i started i really thought that i wanted to be in media because you know i studied on um, journalism and i sort of just you know i still love obviously i love the idea of media so i assumed that i would be in the media industry but over time i realized i had a passion for humanitarian work and I just had this better understanding that NGO and nonprofit is the industry that I want to be in. So that is why I changed my path, realizing that it's not media jobs that I want to apply for. I want to have experience in nonprofit organizations because that is the field that I want to be in. That is where I see myself in the future. So I had to just sort of change that particular industry I wanted to be in and have more of a focused target. So I went from working in media industry to now in the nonprofit industry. So and the certain mission and values align with who I am because I am a humanitarian at heart and I really want to learn more about the nonprofit sector. So you really need to understand the company's mission and values because that's also help you to position yourself to be in organizations that align with who you are and what you are doing. So those are just my few tips for the mistakes that you know young graduates should avoid when choosing a job.